Does mommy have her cookies in there? What's in there? Oh, mommy does have her cookies in there, doesn't she? <laughs> Is mommy's cookies in there? <laughs> Welcome back. Today we're gonna do an actual proper opening. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, wait a minute, what's going on? Why is my camera not picking anything up? Hello? Siri, get out of here. No one asked you. <gasps> Siri, get out. How rude. Anyways, I know what you're thinking. Kanto, you said you were gonna pre-record a video to put out Saturday. I know. I didn't do it. I suck. I got it. Small brain, small brain energy. But we are home, <laughs> we are here, it is Sunday. But for you it is Monday, we are gonna record some videos so I can have them ready because I've been slacking as of late. These boxes came out, I do not know when, how long ago, but we have them, we will open them. They did not have Cinderace, which honestly, not surprised. Heck no, I saw that, she thinks she's <laughs> sneaky. She thinks she's getting the real boom and it's not happening. But I know everybody has pretty much already opened these or seen somebody open them. But we we haven't opened them. I don't think there should be an issue with me opening that with your existential crisis. Well, Rillaboom was never my favorite Pokemon. Guys, my existential crisis she's talking about. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where are my manners? I hope you guys had a safe and wonderful weekend. Hope you're having a wonderful start to your week. And um, all of that jazz. Have a code. Have a Rillaboom promo. Very nice. And they're not, like, pronged in there. Da, da 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 But my existential crisis, you guys know, my Bulba boy. I love Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur's always been my favorite Pokemon. Since the beginning, since I was a kid, I've always loved him. So a long time. A long time, because I'm old. Guys, I think I like Dragapult more than I like Bulbasaur. I know, I know, the shock the betrayal, the despair. But I don't know if it's because he's my main in Sword and Shield and I run a Dragapult deck and have you seen him? Have you seen Dragapult? Have you? He's awesome. Um, but I, it was breaking my heart because I've even when Umbreon came out, when all the new Pokemon have come out, Bulbasaur's still been my favorite and now all of a sudden I feel like he might not be, which is very, very upsetting to me. Um, so right now I have them tied for my number one Pokemon. So, I don't know. My heart hurts a little bit. I feel like I've betrayed the grass-type community. I just, I'm so disappointed in myself. But, if this is your first time here on the channel, first of all, thank you so much for stopping by to hang out with me and my wife as we open some Pokemon cards. I do post new videos three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Uh, except for when I sucked, like last week, and didn't do anything Saturday. But, That's usually, three times a week is not her fault. It's mine. Um, but, da -da -da. but if you are not subscribed, smash the subscribe button so you can get a, some code cards. Hit the notification bell. Well, you can get code cards even if you're not subscribed, but if you don't subscribe and hit the notification bell, then you're not going to know before anybody else when my videos come out. And you're probably not going to be here in time to get some code cards because I do give away code cards in every video where I open English packs. So today we're opening two of the collection boxes and they've got four packs each, Evolutions, Cosmic Eclipse, and two Sword and Shield. I think we should go from uh, oldest to newest, just like we always do. I'm gonna start off with evolutions. I will go first because grass is better than water. Sorry, not sorry. Eh. Very nice. But we have some exciting news coming this week. Well, not necessarily from my channel, but the uh, the reason that we were out of town will be revealed tomorrow. So I can't wait to show you guys, uh, well, I can't really show you on my YouTube channel, but anyways, I'll be posting about it on Instagram, so make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can see what I'm talking about, because it's very, very exciting and very happy for this person, and I cannot wait for you to see what they have to show you. Is it tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. Drowsy. Reverse Hollow Arcanine and a Hollow Ninetales. Look at that, two poles. We got a Reverse Hollow Rare and a Hollow 
rare. Very nice. Very nostalgic set. We love the artworks there. Let's see if Nikki can beat that <laughs> for the first pack. I'm going to count that as first pack magic. I don't know about you guys, but... Hollow is a pull. Hollow is a pull. Reverse hollow is a pull. Reverse hollow rare is a pull. Raticate. Hey, reverse rare, babe. And a non-hollow rare. But you got a wonky cut Raticate, so that's a... That's a good one. <laughs> Okie dokie. Also, so... Many things happening in the Pokemon community right now. The new mobile game, Pokemon Unite, was announced. And I'm not honestly too sure how I feel about it. Um, I had high hopes for Pokemon Masters, which was the mobile game that came out earlier this year. And it seems like Pokemon just kind of forgot about it after they released it. Um, they're... They release mobile games and then they just don't promote them or anything, so it seems a little bit... Honestly, I've never heard of it. Boring. Yeah. It's... I, I don't know. People get, people get bored with it. Pokemon Go is like the one exception of a game that, for them, for mobile, that absolutely just exploded. But the rest of them, I'm just... I'm not super duper impressed. But they are making, like, cross uh, system play a thing with this game, I think they announced at the same time. You can play against people on the Switch po with Pokemon Go and Pokemon Unite, blah, 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 which is pretty interesting. But at the same time, just stick to what you know, my guy. The the mobile games haven't been doing too well. <gasps> and Arceus Yaga Package EX! High five! As always, the prices for Ultra Rares and above, and those expensive trainer cards, will be listed down below as they are pulled. We use the TCG Player Market and Mid-Range Asking Price to get our pricing information. Da -da 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 -da. Gonna sleeve the pool. What else has been going on in the Pokemon world? Um, the Pokemon Battle Academy game was released at Target, and we picked one up, so we'll, we will show you guys what that looks like. They are $20, and I think this is gonna become a highly collectible item. This actually is a very good trainer card. Uh, the Bell, Bell Alba and Bryson Man, last time I saw, was still a little over $2, so it might still be with the Mildex coming back into uh, play. People are starting to use them more and more. And, uh, quite honestly, I hate them, but that is a very popular card for those decks. Hey, Mimikyu character card! Ba 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 ba! A pull! And a not hollow Alolan Sand Slash. That is probably one of the more expensive character cards. I think the Mimikyu and then the Red and Pikachu are the two most expensive ones that we have in front. Well, the only. Ugh, the only set that has them is Cosmic Eclipse, so I guess those are the two most expensive character cards ever ever. All right. What else have we got going on here, guys, in the Pokemon world? What do you guys have going on? Who's been doing some tournaments, getting ready for the Players' Cup? They've officially taken down the leaderboards and are just updating it via a PDF, which makes me incredibly nervous because now I can't check my place every 30 minutes. And that makes me nervous. She's not exaggerating. I'm not. Right now, I am... As of Friday, I am 122nd in North America and 202 in the world, but I have no more tickets for tournaments. And there's only two days left, so I'm getting a little bit nervous. Ah, whimsicott. non hollow rare. All right, let's see if Sword and Shield gives you a better pull there, babe, because that one was not good for me. A B-Sharp, Pokemon Catcher, Haunter, Ponyard, Scorbunny, Nicket, Chinchow. Diggly ding! A reverse Cinderace! That's nice. Very, very nice card. We love Cinderace. And a non hollow Corviknight. We're killing the reverse rares today. That's number three. Crazy, crazy stuff. Are you leaving the energies mixed in there? No. These cards feel like they're way too short. <laughs> I think you see they're not. fake cards everywhere. Well, no, I thought maybe they got cut by the crimper or something, but they that pack felt like it was really long. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh, the Japanese set. Uh, Legendary Heartbeat. So, there were new V cards revealed for Legendary Heartbeat. New Vs and new Amazing Rares. There is a Psychic-type Zacian, a Fighting-type Zamazenta. Then they've got a Celebi Amazing Rare. And then the Vs were released for... Uh, Alchemy, uh, the, the, the big cake thing, G-Max Alchemy, I guess, Togekiss, V-Max, Togekiss, Steelix, V, uh, Carco uh, Carco Colossal V, 
Eevee Gigantamax. Very, very cool. So and, they made Zamazenta, uh, the defense guy, the fighting Pokemon. And then the offense guy, the psychic Pokemon, which psychic would, to me, would be more off, or defense. I can definitely see where you're coming from there because fighting type is a uh, fighting fight. It's you offensive. Know? Yeah, you don't, you don't typically associate fighting types with being defensive, but we'll let them do whatever they want to do. They've got the reins. They know what they're doing, where they're going. Ah, another non-hollow. Drat. Bad pulls. Bad. Um, bum, 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 bum. Lost my train of thought. But yes, the Legendary Heartbeat that set is coming out, I believe, on July 7th. It is a Japanese set, so you need to pre-order from a place like uh, Mecha Japan, or if you have friends that live in Japan, they can order from the Pokemon Center. Um, there's going to be a lot of really neat cards in there. There is going to be one amazing rare in every pack. So it's going to be kind of like Hidden Fates. This is the holidays set in Japan. So the amazing rares will be like the Shiny Vault from Hidden Fates. Um, it, there's going to be 76 different amazing rares, I think. And then there's supposedly another subset that's going to branch off of those, which will have the... Uh, GX cards that we're missing from Tag All-Stars. So the gold Mew and Mewtwo, the gold Reshiram Charizard and stuff like that. So we've got a lot of chase cards coming very, very soon. We did pre-order four booster boxes of that. So I'm very much looking forward to that. We'll probably be getting into Legendary Heartbeat before um, Darkness Ablaze since it does come out um, over a month before. Um, but that's all the packs we have to open. I'm going to show you some stuff that we got while we are out of town and then show you the Pokemon Battle thingy the game the board game that came out but looky here nice little lucario we got a pretty cracked ice hollow tangrowth these heart heart souls heart gold soul silver era cards with the colors and the saturation are absolutely beautiful and i love them and we got pop series 2 mew there's a nice or pop series 4 i'm sorry nice swirl which you can't really see super well but I love this card. I'm so happy to finally have it. Where is it? The, it, it, it. Oh, I see it. It's in there. Oh, there we go. You guys can see it now. Then we got the Electivire for the Shadowless podcast set. And a nice little Umbreon. Oh, you know, here we go. What else did we get while we were out of town? Magikarp, carp, carp. Okie dokie. This is another thing that we picked up while we were at the card shop. If you guys saw the $1,000 vintage mystery box opening that uh, we did for the 1,000 subscriber celebration, we received a binder kind of like this that had the um, like Orange Island series. What What, what is the freaking second anime called? It's not Johto, is it? Orange Island. So technically the Johto starters... I guess, yeah. I guess. It has to be. I don't know. Um, with the Johto remember. starters or whatever uh, in the binder. It has the nine cards, but this is a different one. I guess a similar promotional item. Comes with this very nice little folder and then all of these cards. We got them because they're in super, super good condition. We do already have these five here, but we were missing the EV and the unknowns. The Charizard is in, is in impeccable condition. So we're probably going to add that to our list of what we want to get graded whenever we decide if we're going to ever trust PSA with our cards because of the horrible things we've been hearing and now we're just very scared. Um, but we do have a lot that we would like to get graded to keep it safe. And we also couldn't just buy the binder or the folder. Yeah, we also couldn't just buy the folder or just the Charizard out of the folder. But this is the game that has come out. This is a Pokemon Battle Academy. It teaches you how to play the Pokemon trading card game. And it comes with two decks. Three decks. Three decks. A Mewtwo deck, a Charizard deck, and a Raichu GX deck. Now these are from the Hidden Fates main set. So the set that's only numbered up, up through 68. But very, very nice. I think these are alternate versions of the cards. I don't know if it's going to be the same number. We are keeping our sealed because it's a collector's item and we know how to play the card game. We might open one at some point, but for right now we're going to keep this one sealed and put it on display because it is a very pretty box. It has very pretty artwork. Very nice little Charizard there and Pikachu. We're very happy with it. I hope you guys um, are able to get your hands on one of these because they're absolutely beautiful. Look at Mewtwo up there being ominous in the background. 
But that is all we have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. In the description below, you'll find links to my Instagram and my Twitch. I am back to restreaming on both YouTube and Twitch just because it gets out to more people. I like to have the interaction. I'm more concerned about interaction than I am watch hours. So I'll be streaming on both. I prefer people to use YouTube just because having everybody on one platform is easier. But there are some people that I can't convince to come over from Twitch. So I'll, I'll be there on Twitch for them. And you, if you want to be on Twitch, but whatever, you know, it's okay. Don't care about my feelings. Anyways, I hope you guys have a safe and wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Next time. Next time. Next time.